Hey guys, it's Drea. So I am doing my liquid lipstick declutter today. I've got these four drawers, um, plus these four huge bulky hard candy lipsticks here. But yeah, four drawers basically worth of liquid lipstick to declutter. So if you haven't been around my channel before, I've done a whole lot of decluttering already. I'll link to the playlist below. Let's just jump into it though. Let's, I guess let's just start in the middle. Um, okay, so these are my YSL tatouage lip stains. These came out in the fall. I'm not decluttering these. They're beautiful. I love them so that they're staying. Okay, my ColourPop and Anastasia are all kind of like in the same spot because the packaging is identical basically. But I do believe these are all of my Anastasia ones. I've got Trouble, Dusty Rose, Crush, Dolce, and Catherine. Um, Crush and Dolce are definitely my two favorites. So those are definitely staying. Actually, Trouble is also a favorite. These two I hardly ever wear. This Dusty Rose I feel like is a little too dark when it dries. Um, otherwise it would be really nice, but it's just a little too dark. And then Catherine, if it stayed the same shade in the bottle as it did on your lips when it dried, I would love it, but it goes so dark. Like, I feel like they go like three shades darker than when you first swatch them. Um, I'm tempted to keep Dusty Rose. I know I'm gonna get rid of Catherine. I just, I never ever wear it, so that's gonna go. Let's just put this in a maybe for now. I'm gonna let it dry and see what, see if I like it. Okay, these are all the ColourPop. These are, well, they're pretty much all ultra satins. I got rid of all my ultra mattes, which I hate. This one though is an ultra blotted lip, which it's supposed to look like when you blot your lips and like it's supposed to look matte and kind of worn away, I guess. I don't know. It does dry matte. It's a nice, um, it's called Bit of Sunny. It's just a nice red. I've, when I've worn it, Wow, can I talk? When I've worn it, I like it. And I don't wear a lot of red, but I did like it on me, so I'm gonna keep it. Little Stitious is one of my absolute favorites. Chandelier, absolute favorite. The Rabbit, absolute favorite. 951, I think was the one I did not like. Yeah, this looked, this did not look good on me. So this can go. And then this one is called Mrs. And I think this was also one that looked weird on me. Um, I think I'm gonna put this in my test it out. If you haven't seen my declutters yet, I am doing like one big test it out video with things from different categories where I will test out a few things and decide in that video if I like it or not. Uh, Cause I love the ultra satin formula. I just don't remember if this looks good on me or not. So I'm just gonna keep that for testing for now. This Jouer one in Melon. Yeah, I remember it looking really good on me, but I feel like this is similar to uh, Dolce, maybe? I feel like it's really similar to other things. No, wouldn't be that one. Must be Crush. Yeah, that's way too similar to keep both. Crush is slightly deeper, but it's the same tones. Once it's on your lips, it looks pretty much the same. So I'll declutter this um, Jouer one. I like the formula, but I just, I never use it. So I don't feel bad about getting rid of it. I've got all these color, color pop. I've got all these Sephora collection ones. Um, I really like this red. It's number, they're all numbered, number three. Okay, I'm gonna take aside the ones I'm not sure about. Number 13, I definitely love. And this purple one, I haven't really worn a lot. Number 38. I mean, it's so similar to other like deep mauves that I have. I have a Bare Minerals one like this. I have a Too Faced one like this. Uh, even the Rabbit is similar, so this can go. I don't, I don't need that shade. I've barely worn it, if at all. This one is number five, which I think is called like Peach Parfait. I think they even discontinued it. This one is like a, a metallic version and I just never wear it. I also remember it flakes off. These three, I don't think I love. This one is way too dark on me. It's number 24. And then I think this one's way too light on me. It's number 40. Pretty sure it's like very concealer-ish. Yeah, it's even lighter than the Jouer one, but with kind of a brown tone. And then this one is number 23. Yeah, this one, no, this one's very similar to that one from ColourPop that I don't like. So we'll get rid of that one as well. Um, 
Am I really only keeping two? <laughs> Alrighty then, well, that's okay, because I like those. <laughs> uh, this is really nice. I don't wear it as much as I should. I don't even think they make these anymore. This is kind of like the ultra satin version of what Sephora does. It's just like a, it doesn't dry down. It's called Petal Luster. Petal Luster. Oh, but you know what? It's just starting to smell like paint. I think this needs to be thrown away. So that's gotta go, unfortunately. Actually, this Dusty Rose, I think I'm just going to get rid of it. I don't think I've worn this in over a year and a half. So um, I just wiped off the swatch without thinking. But I just, I can't see myself using that. So I might as well just get rid of it. So that is now this drawer. Oh, wait. And this guy. This is from the dollar store. And uh, it's the... Mariposa, yeah, I remember this is like garbage. It like crumbles off your lips. So that's definitely going, well that worked out well because these fit perfectly in here and then all of these can be decluttered. All right, this has some NYX. It has some, well, all of my Wet n Wild, some Too Faced and some Milani. Let's start with these NYX ones. These are the liquid suedes. Uh, this one is a metallic one, which it's okay, like it looks okay, but I'm never gonna wear it for more than just a video, and you know, I wouldn't wear this out anywhere really, so I might as well just get rid of it. This one is that shade Tea and Cookies that was all the rage, and I just feel like it never really looked good on me. So I'm gonna get rid of this one too, I don't need that. This is from Measurable Difference, it's called Posh Matte, and I can't remember what the shade is. It's like paparazzi or something. Anyway, this came from Winners, which is like TJ Maxx. And the color, I really loved the color of it, but it just crumbled off my lips and it was pretty much garbage. So I'm gonna declutter that one. The Too Faced Melted Matte and just the Too Faced Melted, um, this one I love. I wore this recently and it's really pretty. Like it looks really good on me. So I'm gonna keep that one for sure. This one is Melted Berry. This was like a holiday. I don't even know. I don't know if this is still available. It's a really nice color, but I really am not a fan of these. Like this squeezy melted. I don't like them. I know lots of people do, but I just don't. So I'm just gonna get rid of that. And then these Milani ones, um, I love pretty. I love, what's this one called? Adored or something? Loved. Pretty and loved. Okay. And then this one was super streaky. So this is Obsession. I like this shade, but it was so streaky. So I'm just going to let that one go. Um, these are all the Wet n Wild ones. Honestly, you guys, I don't want to get rid of any of these because the wearable shades are like so nice and wearable and they look so good on and then like the darker vampy shades are good in the winter. And then these bright color, like the orange, the blue, the purple, those are so good for just fun editorial looks. And I even have a black one. Um, so I don't want to get rid of any of these. So I'm going to keep all of them. <laughs> and these ones can go in here and these will be decluttered. Okay, this is another kind of mishmash, mishmash. Um, we've got Bare Minerals, NARS, Kat Von D and Stila, and then some other randomness. These NARS ones, I have one of these in my purse too. This is a Velvet Lip Glide, that's not going anywhere. This is a little mini red Velvet Lip Glide. I don't wear it that often, but I like it. And it's just a little mini, it's not bothering anybody. These two, this is the, what's it called? The, the Power Matte Lip Pigment. This one is in Get It On, which is just like a nice nude. And then this one is like this deep purple. And I, no, it's not like a deep purple. It's more of like a gray purple, but very dark. And it just looks weird on me. So I'm going to let this one go. This one is in London Calling. Um, Kat Von D, I only have two, cause this is not honestly my favorite formula, but this Outlaw and this K-Dub, the colors are so pretty that I can live with it being really drying for these two colors. And I honestly don't wear them a lot, but when I do wear them, they both look really super good on me. So I'm gonna keep those. Oh yes, okay, next lip lingerie. You can both go. Um, I hate this formula. It's 
weirdly crumbly. It's not even that comfortable, but mainly it's just really crumbly. I really like this shade Exotique. It's a really nice kind of deep dark nude, but it just does not work for me. So both of these are gonna go. And then, ooh, something leaked. What did I do here? I made a big mess. Hold up, hold the phone. What the heck happened here? Oh, that NARS one. All right, that NARS packaging, yeah, that's such a liquidy liquid. I know that sounds dumb, but like it's so liquidy that when you pull out that wand, if you're not careful, it will go, like you'll lose product and it'll get on stuff. So I just made a mess. This swatching hand is, is taking a beating right now. Uh, so really sorry if that looks gross. Okay, these Stila ones, I, I know people love the formula of these and yeah, it, it does last all day, but again, it's a bit too drying for me. Perlina, Perla, and Serenata. Um, I just never use them, so I'm just gonna get rid of them. Okay, the, these tart ones. This is the Tartus lip paint in birthday suit. This was like a, the birthday gift from Sephora. And then this one came in some value set. It's the lip paint, I don't remember. What's the color, come on. Quick dry matte lip paint. It doesn't say on here, but this color does not look good on me. So that can go. And then I just, I don't think I like the formula anyway of these. Yeah, I'm not a big fan, so I'm just going to get rid of this. Um, this Buxom Centerfold, this is actually really nice. I never wear it. This is like drying out. I mean, this is not good. Yeah, this is like getting weirdly clumpy. And then not a lot is coming out. Okay, that's going to just have to go. All these bare minerals, actually let's just talk about this. The Revlon. Ultra HD matte lip color. It's not really matte. It's more of like a gel. It is a nice shade, but I never really wear it. So I'll just, I'll let it go. Okay. All these bare minerals ones, they have different versions of minis and full sizes and like ultra minis. This is my favorite liquid lipstick formula. I really, really like it. Um, these two shades I'm definitely keeping. This one here, I'm going to let go because I have other reds and this is so tiny. So, okay, I know for sure, Juju I really like, Swag I really like, this one's Swag. This one is called Infamous. Yeah, I feel like it's too light for me right there. This one I know is definitely too light for me. This one is in Wink. Yeah, that's really way too light for me. Um, and I like Swag and the other one, what was it, Infamous? No, wait. Swag and Juju. Um, I like those ones a lot, so, you know, I have more than enough. I can let those two go. This one I bought front of me when they first launched, and I just bought it sight, on, sight unseen off of the website, and it's just so, like, bubblegummy pink. I just never, ever use it. Even though I love the formula, it's not the right shade for me, so I'm gonna let that one go, but I'll keep these four because I love all of those. And actually, I'm gonna keep all my Wet n Wild by themselves in that one drawer, and I'll just move these guys to this drawer because now they all kind of fit nicely. I've got these four hard candy velvet mousse. Well, actually these three are velvet mousse. The, this one is called metallic mousse. This one is, it looks super weird. Like in, in the actual container, it's really pretty, but on my lips, it looks so weird. That's in the shade truffle. So I'm definitely getting rid of that one. Um, these three, I kind of like them all. This one I love. This one is called Cherry Blossom. It's so pretty. That's definitely staying. This one I never wear, but I almost don't want to get rid of it just because it is beautiful. Like, it's this really deep purple. I just can't, I can't let that one go yet. And then this one I don't really wear, but I should. It's called Spider Orchid. I don't remember why I don't really wear this one. I feel like this is very much like the Anastasia Trouble, but this is a completely different formula. Um, still smells great. I'm gonna put this with the tested out lip colors. 
Normally I would only take one thing from each category to test out in that video, but I think lip colors is a little different because it's more just about color, not formula. So, so far I have these two to test in that video, but these two I'm definitely keeping. Okay, last of the four drawers. These are all mainly drugstore, um, except for this one and this one. So let's talk about these first. This is Clara Cosmetics Kiss Proof Lips Liquid Matte Lipstick. I did not like the formula of this. I didn't like the applicator. I love Clara Cosmetics eyeshadows, but I did not like this lip at all. So that's gonna go. And this is a Beauty Bakery um, liquid lipstick in the shade Versailles. I want to love this, but I just, I never wear it. It's too dark once it dries on me. It just, it dries really much darker than that. And doesn't even have a scent. I feel like it did have a scent, but now it doesn't. I don't know, it doesn't have a scent. Anyway, packaging is beautiful, but I never ever wear this, so I'm just gonna let that go. Uh, this Color Jolt by Maybelline, I do like this formula, but I have enough reds. I don't need like a gel lip color that can go all over the place in a red. I just don't need that in my life, so that can go. And then, there's some randomness over here before I get to all these infallibles. Um, well, these are actually infallible. I don't understand why they do this. They've got these infallibles in these containers, and that's a matte. And so is this. It's just confusing marketing and, like, branding. Um, this is a really pretty shade. This is number 334, Smoldering Eclipse, but, like, it's so unique and beautiful. But when am I ever, like, seriously, when am I ever going to wear that? I'm not. So let's get rid of that one. And then this one was Peach Pit. This is actually really nice, so I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna keep um, definitely these two of my Melting Pouts from CoverGirl, love that formula. But this one, again, I think the gel formula mixed with something super vibrant is just, it's, it's just a recipe for disaster a lot of the time. Plus I have this shade in so many different formats, bullets, like other liquid lipsticks you've seen already, so I can let this one go. This one is called Don't Be Jelly. It is really super beautiful, but I just don't, I don't need to deal with that. And then this CoverGirl Melting Pout Matte. So again, like it's this, but in a matte version. Why can't, they should have more consistency with their packaging. Anyway, I hated this. I hated the way it felt like on the lips. It just felt super gross. This is so new too. Like I just got it, but I hate it and I think yeah, I also do not like the scent of these guys, um, so that can go. So all that we're left with now are these L'Oreal Infallibles. These ones are the Pro Matte Glosses. These are the Pro Matte Liquid Lipsticks. The glosses say matte, but they're not matte at all. They're shiny, so it makes no sense. This is a really great formula. It's so comfortable. It's beautiful on. It's got a great applicator. But I've just kind of moved past these. And these are really old in my collection too. Like all of them are pretty old. They're all so pretty, the colors though. Um, but I just feel like it's time to get rid of all of these. Like I never ever use them anymore. And then these, the Pro Matte Liquid Lipsticks, I just feel like, I like the formula. It does dry down, it does last all day. It's It takes a while to dry down and it's sticky during the time that it takes to dry down and it takes a long time like a good two minutes till it's fully dry um, and it does dry a little dark too so some of these shades like they're nice but they I don't really love wearing dark vampy shades and I have some in my collection I don't need a ton I feel like I don't want these either so I'm just gonna declutter all of this So the only ones I'm keeping in that entire drawer are these. Like, isn't that crazy? So I just counted and I am keeping 41. Wow, sorry about that, that was loud. I'm keeping 41. And then there's also two that I'm testing out. And then all of this is decluttered and I just counted and there's 44 of these. So I am decluttering over 50%, which is pretty amazing. Um, that feels really, really super good. I'm really proud of myself. Um, yeah, so give me a little thumbs up for doing well. Um, that's it for today. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!